So we have decided to start selling out of Wynn Resorts in a real way, guys. We've decided to start selling out. Now I wanna get into all the reasons I'm starting to sell out of that position and kind of everything behind it. Now, first off, like people think like I would just sell out of that position because it's up massively, right? Since we got in that one. Well, that's not really the case because I could have said, well, last month it was up massively. Six months ago it was up massively. 12 months ago it's been up massively for a long time. That's not really why. So we'll kind of go into the details and everything on, on why I'm starting to sell out Win Resorts, which is my biggest position at the moment, guys. Um, so, lots to get into here. Now, when I start selling out a position, I don't just like sell all the shares at once, usually. That's a very, very rare instant. That did happen with GoPro, but that was just because I just wanted to get out of that stock. I didn't see a future there anymore with them getting out of the drone business with how bad they missed numbers, and I just I just was like, I'm out of this. I got out at like 650 or 660 or whatever it was, and I just sold out. I was like, I'm done. That's usually not the case, okay? Usually, how I sell is very similar to how I buy, okay? So let's say uh, if I was buying shares, right, in a company at $10, then I would, you know, make an initial position, a smaller position. You know, let's say I had $40,000 available, okay? And I wanted to put an extra 40, you know, thousand toward this new stock. Well, if it was at $10, I might put five, 5,000 to start, you know, and kind of open up a position like that, right? Then if it goes down to 950, which it might not, but if it does, you know, it has some struggles or whatever, the Wall Street just doesn't believe in it, maybe the market gets weak at that time, then all of a sudden, I might put another $10,000, okay? Then all of a sudden, it goes down to $9, and, and assuming I still love this company just as much, and I believe in it for the long term, I'm gonna keep investing more, right? Now I might do another $15,000, okay? So now all of a sudden, we're up to 30,000, and then let's say it goes down to 850, which who knows if that would really happen, that's a pretty rare instance there, I would put the remaining $10,000 dollars and all of a sudden that that full forty thousand that I wanted to get in this company I got in that company right it doesn't always work out like that sometimes it just starts going up and then it might go up a bunch and then I just sell out of the position or whatever okay but that's buying so when I sell it's a very very similar thought process okay so if I had an idea to buy these shares at ten dollars right um, let's say I hold these shares and they goes up to fifteen dollars and I'm like uh, fifteen dollars is where I want to start selling out of this position okay so maybe I want to start selling out there at 15. So then what would happen is I would sell an initial position off of, off, off of my share. So I might sell, you know, 20% that very first time at 15, okay? Then all of a sudden it goes to, let's say, um, $16. It goes up some more. Then I might sell another 20%, okay? And then as it keeps going up and keeps going up, I will sell out my position until I'm completely sold out. So in Wynn Resorts, uh, situation here. Wynn Resorts is now, I think, at $178 a share, right? So I'll kind of show you how I'm viewing Wynn and how I'm selling out of this one. So I want to, once it kind of got above 175, and remember my wife sold out some of her shares, I think it was um, 165, I think she sold out some of hers at, um, that was kind of, you know, starting to, get, we had her entire re retirement fund in Wynn Resorts, so that was a lot of shares there. So we started selling out that one around 165, but in general I wanted to start selling out at 175. So today it got over 175, I think it's at $178 right now, which is why we started to sell out more and more, and uh, basically, I plan on selling this position out between $175 and $200, okay? And $200, so obviously we sold a portion today. If it goes up to $180, $185 over the next few weeks, we'll probably sell another portion. If it goes to $190, $195, we'll probably sell another portion, and then somewhere around $200. If it goes up there, we'll sell out the remaining portion, okay? So with Wynn Resorts here, it's, a, it's actually a much tougher decision to sell out a position you love rather than you hate. So a company that, you know, they, they switched the ways that were going and whatnot, those are actually really easy decisions to make to sell out. Even if you're down just because it's like, I don't believe in this company anymore. When, when you still love the company and still believe in it for the long term, but sometimes it just gets overvalued, that, those are hard decisions to start making, okay? And, I, and Wynn Resorts is not in a position that it's super overvalued or something, but I don't ever try to hold a stock until it gets to that, that place where it's super overvalued or whatnot, right? So Wynn right now has a forward PE on it, somewhere around, I think it's a 26, okay? A forward PE of 26. Um, that's relatively high, but it's not that high for the market in general. 
So next we kind of got to think about Macau is hot right now. Macau numbers have been going up and up for well over a year now, okay? Macau has been on the bounce back and Macau is just hot right now. The numbers are going up 10, 15, 20% right now. Everything is just really good. We're pretty decently strong here in Vegas. Like everything's just good in the gambling market in general, right? And especially Macau. Macau is where Wynn gets the majority of its business. Profits, revenues, everything, clientele, everything, okay? So everything's really good right now. Everything looks really good, okay? Those are actually the times when I kind of like to start getting out of positions, okay? Because what ends up happening is it doesn't always look good forever, right? Everything just looks picture perfect right now. Everything for the company, the industry is just going perfect right now, right? It doesn't always work out where that's going to keep going on and it's going to keep being perfect, right? All of a sudden, numbers start to weaken whenever it is. Who knows? It may be six months from now. It might be a year from now. It might be three years from now. We don't know exactly when that's going to happen. But all of a sudden, numbers will start to weaken a bit. Things get a little weaker and all of a sudden, these stocks can drop massively, especially a company like Wynn Resorts. I've seen Wynn Resorts in the recession at $33 a share, okay? Five years later, I saw Wynn Resorts at $242 a share, okay? About less than two years after that, I saw Wynn Resorts at $49 a share, okay? So all within like a, a six year span, a six or seven year span, right? I saw Wynn Resorts at, at $33, I saw it go up to $242, I saw it go down to $49. This is a stock that can be highly volatile depending on how market conditions are. Market conditions for Wynn Resorts are very strong right now, and they will probably continue to be strong for at least the short term here. Just long term, we don't know. There will be some hiccups here and there. So in a, in a case like this, I'm up big on this position, up huge. At this point, I just see myself kind of getting out of this one. I'm getting what I feel is a fair value in return. I feel like it's a fair value. I don't feel like I'm selling it for an overpriced price, but that's never my goal when I invest. I don't want to sell things for an overpriced price because that's not always how it's going to work out, guys. You got to, got to think, oh, what's a fair what's a fair price for, the, for me to sell these shares? And that's when I'm going to sell it. So uh, that's why I'm starting to get out of this. Now, as far as what company I'm actually going to put the money into, that I don't know yet, guys. As far as the uh, GoPro money, I told my stock market membership group, which by the way, that stock market membership group is the third link in the description. I told them that I put the money in the Goldman Sachs. So I stuck the um, GoPro money stuck in Goldman Sachs for the time being, and it's just kind of chilling there. Something that I feel like is a safe investment. It's probably not gonna blow up in the short term or anything like that. So it's just kind of in there for now. And as far as the Wynn Resorts money, I'm not sure, guys. There's a lot of companies I'm keeping an eye on right now, but there's there's not like one specific company that I'm like, I gotta put more money in this company. Uh, I do wanna buy more and more crews, but I really want crews to drop under the $50 range into the 40s. So I'm actually hoping like there'll be some like weakness out of iPhone 10 or something miraculously will happen like that. So crews will go down so I could really make a big position in that one. That's the one I really wanna make a big position. I just really wanna get it into the 40s to really start getting in that one big eBay's one I've been buying. I'm somewhat interested in that one, but it's not like that one's screaming at me, like put, you know, make this our my biggest investment or something at these current levels. So we will have to see. I don't have a, a you know an ideal place, par you know, for the money to be parked right now. I'll probably just keep it in my account until I start deciding, make a decision on one of these stocks that I'm really liking, makes a move down, and I can start getting in in a big way and whatnot, guys. So that is kind of why I'm selling off of Win Resorts. You know, I feel like it's started to approach a fair market value now, and as it gets higher and higher. I'm just going to continue to probably sell out on my position. I think it's a great company for the long term, but this is a company that next time we have a recession type scenario, they're going to be absolutely destroyed. The stock will, who knows, goes <laughs> well below 100 probably again and whenever that time does come, and I don't know when that is. And so right now, it's starting to be a fair value, and I'm like, why don't I start selling out of this one now? Now, keep in mind, usually every time I sell out of a stock, it goes up much more. So <laughs> I think there's like a, something on this channel like a lot of people know when Jeremy starts selling out of a position that's when you want to start to buy because then it goes up even more I think that happened with Michael Kors it happened with L Brands it's happened with Apple it's happened with a lot of stocks Google a lot of stocks that you know I was in on this channel big time and they were on four stocks and buying and whatnot and then I sell out and they go up tons more RH was one of them RH went up like over a hundred percent since I got out of that one guys but anyways who knows if that will happen with when but it is a position I'm selling out of hope you guys enjoyed this today make sure if you're newer to the stock market you check out the first link in that description. That's my stock market investing mastery course. That's an 11 part course that goes into everything that I actually judge in making an investment. Thank you for watching guys and have a great day.